close your eyes, <clears throat> watch your breath. Watch your breath all the way in, all the way out. And then again, in and out. Try to stay right here with the sensation of the breath to give the mind a grounding. Because when the mind is grounded, it's like a person has a firm place to stand. You know, whatever you do comes from a firm place. It doesn't come from somebody who's floating around and feeling threatened, feeling uneasy, feeling unstable. And so your actions are bound to be more beneficial for you and for other people. There's a sutta the Buddha talks about blessings. And in every case, it's not the blessings that other people give you. It's the blessings you give yourself through your actions, starting with knowing who to pay respect to or to who hold in respect who to associate with, who not to associate with, going up through all the good qualities that you can develop in the mind up to the attainment of a full awakening. In every case, this is a blessing. Because what is a blessing? It's a, a wish for happiness. It's something that sort of makes you happy. And it's your actions that make you happy. So when you're generous and when you're virtuous, when you meditate, these are blessings for yourself. Because the world is so full of aging, illness, and death, and all the suffering that comes from that. We need blessings. And if you wait for someone else to give you a blessing, they'll, they'll be happy to do it, but they can only do it from time to time. But the good things you do, the good qualities you develop in the mind, those are blessings you can have 24-7, all through the day, every day of the week. So think of this as a blessing, the fact you're able to be alive and stay and focused on your breath. Then think of the good things you can do based on that. And as long as we have the breath to breathe, we have the opportunity to bless ourselves. So always keep that in mind, that the blessings are always there, the potential for blessings is always there. So you can be a blessing to yourself, and when you develop these good qualities, of course, you're not the only one who benefits. It's your way of blessing the rest of the world, too. So this is a kind of goodness that goes all around. It is a goodness that erases boundaries. Other forms of goodness, things that come from wealth, from status, from praise, those create boundaries because if you gain something, someone else has to lose it. If they gain, you lose. That's what creates the boundaries. But with the goodness we develop in the mind, there are no boundaries. Nobody loses. Everybody wins. This is why this is the best kind of blessing of all.